welcome to the show, Chef. Thank you very much. And it's good to see you in our house. Yes. Because the whole reason you're here today is because Courtney and I, separately, I didn't even know you were going up separately. We had dinner at your restaurant and we invited you to come to the show. 14 years old is when you went to culinary school, right? Correct. And you graduated top of your class, but way before that, you learned how to create beautiful, fresh pasta from your mother, right? I was very lucky. I, had, uh, I used to get up early in the morning, on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday morning, and I was sleeping in my room, and the uh, wonderful aroma or whatever she was cooking would just drag me out of bed and go to the kitchen. That's why I spend most of my Saturday and Sunday mornings. It's a nice. wonderful story, but it's so real. It's right. Nice. What a beautiful memory, too. And, and that is really, you can tell your heart and soul is into your food. My family and I, we had a wonderful time at Ceriso, and it was great for the kids. They loved it. AJ, my little one, was infatuated with you in the kitchen. He had to come chat and, like, <laughs> that's right, check that's right. it out. Because right. there he is, Chef Aww. Enzo and AJ, right there. So yeah, you were kind sweet. of explaining yeah. the whole kitchen thing to him. Well, I was trying to interview him because we lived needed a line cook. Oh, he's I ready. Figure, I figured that <laughs> also, you know, so these are regulation, it wasn't, wasn't right. ready. His but, knife skills but, are good, <laughs> though. We're working on it. We're good. working on it. I'll, I'll be very saying, careful. <laughs> it's so beautiful, too, because it's right there. You guys are right off the waterway there uh, where the Weston is. And we had talked on the show a couple weeks ago. Brandon and I went up for a little staycation. The restaurant was so perfect because then we went upstairs and enjoyed the uh, Como Social Club upstairs. Uh, it, it was absolutely fantastic from top to bottom and Como is there right off the pool. It's so awesome, well. it really is. And again, I was there with the kids, not to the Como Social Club, but in the restaurant and it was so great. It was wonderful and totally buzzing and what the Woodland needs, it's really great. Well, we've been very lucky in a way. I mean, a lot of work went into it. Sure. We had a, a vision, uh, but it's been received very, very well. Uh, exceed expectations so we're very lucky for that but you know we never satisfy because you always raise the bar a little bit and we're trying to do always better and better and better and trying to make everybody happy which is the hardest thing to do it really is in the restaurant world right and what sets you guys apart truly is all of the homemade things that you offer there the pasta Correct. these are not boxed pastas guys I, it's funny because most Americans like think they've had pasta, but we haven't right until yeah. we've had the real thing. So this is all just fresh, totally pliable. What are some of these different ones you have? Fresh, fresh pasta. So I decided to bring just an, a little samples for the viewers to understand the kind of work that goes on uh, in Sorriso and the work in the kitchen. So we make all the fresh pasta, all the fresh desserts, and so many other things that we talk in a second. But if you go to top to bottom, we have a nice, wonderful, fresh tomato pasta uh, taglierini. We have a veal stuffed porcini mm. pasta ravioli. We have a ricotta cheese cavatelli. Mm. And then we have a spinach fettuccine. We have a saffron pasta mal tagliati or pappardelle. You're right, the, the larger have, one. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, the same mal tagliati, I'm sorry, the same um, cavatelli with squid ink because we have a wonderful, this one got away from me, we got a wonderful dish on the menu which is a cavatelli black squid ink with an array of seafood mm. uh, with fresh San Marzano tomatoes, fresh basil. It's beautiful. I What's happening here? Just raw. So I'm pouring the, the homemade limoncello. Oh, um, yes. Sorry, I took the liberty to... No, 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 go, go ahead. Limoncello and, uh, is, uh, is sort of the uh, Italian, Italian, you know, right? relate. <laughs> well, it's uh, originally from the Amalfi Coast, you know, and then of course we make, we're very proud because I take fresh lemons, we infuse it for about a month to the liquor, and then we make the limoncello in-house. And we add also some desserts that we make in-house. Tell us uh, about the dessert that you're going to show that's our good. viewers how to make. The dessert. This is something that's a cannolo? Cannolo. Cannolo singular. It will be more than one. It will be cannoli. Okay. All right? Familiar so with the cannoli. I'm going to make, I'm going to go ahead and do something real quick. So we like to take an old recipe, let's say a traditional Italian recipe, and change it, transforming something that is new and with a wow effect. So without con really uh, changing the taste. So here we go. We, have, we make our own shells, very, very light tulip. We make our own filling with fresh buffalo ricotta cheese, candy fruits, chocolate. We pipe it in. Okay. Now it's time to go ahead, place it in the ashtray. Why in the ashtray? Well, I'm going to explain you in a minute. We're going to put the nice label, cigar label. Oh my gosh. Oh okay. my gosh. And then we need to create ashes. Okay. Dip it in Grand Marnier, of course. Mm. Or if you want, Derek, we can put a limoncello. <laughs> All right. Then we have the ashes. The ashes is made out of uh, a mix of um, pistachios and. Um, I'm going to cook this. Now we're going to pipe in a little bit of mascarpone mousse. We're going to create some more ashes. Oh, okay? wow. Look at that. And then it's not complete, correct? So we're going to give a little bit of a sprinkle of powdered sugar. And now the surprise, surprise. Yes. Spun sugar smoke. Oh. So you apply to the cigar. 
That is so clever, Chef Enzo. And that it looks like, beautiful. if it stays, it looks like that you have a cigar. Yes. Smoking. Very, very... Perfect. I mean, okay, if we try that at home, making that at home, it won't look quite the same. No, go to Ceriso no. and get it there. <laughs> By the way, voted one of uh, four chefs to watch by Esquire magazine, so I agree with that for sure. And as we mentioned, Ceriso Modern Italian Kitchen and Como Social Club, they're located right there along the waterway at the Western Woodlands. If you'd like more information, you can always check out our website, HoustonLife.tv. Check out the scene on Houston Life section. Chef Enzo, grazie. Ah, grazie. Now you had the limoncello, you had to try the cannolo, of so course. we do a toast. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna be very nice to you. I heard that you punched somebody in the first grade, whatever, so <laughs> I'm gonna say please, enjoy. Thank you very much, and come and see us at Ceriso. Thank you for coming. Thanks.